actually, I had three great mentors when I came here, and there were the, the three people in this lab, the late Gordon Jacoby, who hired me, and then, of course, Ed Cook, the current director, who all the methodology that's developed in our field seems like all of it's come channeled through Ed's mind. Uh, and then Roseanne DiRigo, who's the funding machine around here. And I learned from three of the best at how to, how to do this kind of job. I was doing a lot of climbing in those days, a lot of mountaineering trips. And I, and I just knew that I liked, that was where I wanted to be, in outside environments in the mountains. And I started uh, my studies, and there was a guy, David Staley, who's the director of the lab in Arkansas. He was doing his PhD at the time, and he and I became buddies. I was working construction uh, while I, that's how I paid my way through my master's degree. And uh, he and I became buddies, and, and just w what I started doing watching his work, I got interested in it, and he sort of mentored me into doing tree ring, so it's kind of an accident. Dave Staley was actually the connection to the Lamont Tree Ring Lab, so he, uh, I was finishing my master's, and I was looking for something to do for a job, and Dave said, why don't you, Gordon has a position open, he needs a technician. And I had done a lot of mountaineering work in Labrador. Uh, that's where I'd just been up with my brother and I. We, I had all these contacts. We'd done a bunch of 45-day treks through the mountains. And Gordon had a project in Labrador. And I think he hired me because of that. Um, I met him in Tucson outside the Treering Lab. I drove down from Phoenix. And he was walking in to give a lecture. And we met for five minutes. And we, he just asked me two or three questions. And he said, OK, you got the job. It was like that. It was five minutes right there. And then I drove my van across the country to meet him in uh, breaking down the whole way. And I showed up, uh, you know, in time to get this job. And uh, I think the next month, I got there in February. The next month in March, I went to Labrador with Jonathan Overpeck and Julie Cole and Dave Anderson because of my contacts in Labrador. So I was immediately in the field. And we did that project up there. It was um, I was coring trees, uh, spruce trees, and we were taking sediment cores from the bottom of these meromictic lakes that had varved sediments in them. And uh, so it was a winter trip because the ice was frozen and we could get everywhere by snowmobile. And that was my fir first experience in the tree ring lab. And then I got back and I met Gordon in California in the spring to do work on the San Andreas Fault and worked for him for three years on that project. I think I was the, the first year I worked for him, I, was, I barely saw him until we finally met up in Gulala to do that. And he was friends with Dave Staley, and that sort of connections kept coming through. And he and Roseanne Dorigo did a project uh, looking at these old teak records from Indonesia that a guy named Berlaga had published back in the 30s. And so we, uh, we followed up on that, and that sort of started the tropical thing. So Roseanne and I took a trip to Indonesia Boy, it, and then it led to, I ended up doing my PhD in Tasmania, so there was a, several years where I was down in, uh, in the, the cold, temperate regions of Australia doing work on that, but I just kept this tropical thing going the whole time. And then a number of years after we, I got back here in late 1999, started the position that I'm currently on. I'm the Lamont Research Professor, but it was a road getting there. I was on the old DARS track, the... Uh, Doherty Associate Research Scientist track that's no longer uh, functional, but I'm, I'm a, in the research professor track now. And in that, we had a five-year project to study the Asia Monsoon. And that Asia Monsoon project is what led me ultimately to Vietnam. Um, we've been working in Thailand, and I, I forayed into Laos and did a bunch of things uh, trying to get these records built. And I just had no idea that Vietnam was going to be as exciting as it was. We, we, when I finally went, there were these millennial age conifers, uh, these things right here, uh, different species of these, and we managed to find this one species, the Fokenia. And uh, I started working on that. We developed the first really beautiful long record of a tree ring site from the tropical regions that calibrated and verified with the climate data. Made a big splash with that. That was part of our big drought atlas. And, uh, and so I just started focusing on Vietnam as a result of how successful that was. And the colleagues I had there made it really easy to work. And one day in Saigon, sitting in a restaurant ready to go out in the field, a couple days later, Kevin Griffin walks by the window with his son, Max. And so uh, I sort of couldn't, took the double take, ran outside, hunted him down. Next thing you know, we're sitting eating dinner together. And uh, we, he, he really sort of fell in love, caught the bug of Vietnam. Um, and so we put a, a proposal together to do some work on the ecophysiology of the plant species that we were looking at. And that's what sort of led to this idea of having this, uh, the Earth Clinic project.
project that we got funded to start this field school in Vietnam. I just thought it was really beautiful when you look through a microscope at a, at a core sample from a tree and you see that pattern of rings. The wood is beautiful to look at too. The rings of trees are, are quite you know, visually exciting to see and I just was hooked.